Hey everybody, it's Jason. I just want to do a quick video. I wrote a bolt swapping over to from the narrower arm to the, the wider arm. Um, I'm going to use this as a reference because I don't have one that is built with what you have. Um, this is what it'll end up being. This is kind of what it started out as. Alright, so you got the top cap here. The top cap you'll take off. It's glued on so it might be a little tough. Or you could just loosen this up, remove this foot and then slide this whole thing off then you can just take the tower off from underneath and slide the arm off um, one thing you want to do first is you want to loosen these three bolts up on both sliding mechanisms um, that prevents any damage when you're sliding it on and off the end of the the rail so the edges don't catch it and burr up the wheel uh, another thing of note is when you put it back together you want to make sure that this little uh, indentation on the eccentric nut is facing out uh, that is the loosest position you can always tighten it if you need to but generally speaking it was made um, to work as is without having to adjust it until obviously the wheels wear in um, so you remove all this stuff here take it off underneath you'll have a a, a t-nut sliding t-nut um, just make sure you don't lose that uh, same thing on the arm You'll want to remove this as well again take the cap off or take the tower off of the base and it'll be fine um, So when this goes back together, it's going to end up looking like this So we'll set that out of the way um, So it'll end up looking like this and once you put all this back together You'll get the new tower with the threaded end so you can actually thread on a cap um, you'll attach the tower to the base plate again, put your um, uh, thumb screws back in with the T-nuts on the back to hold it to lock it in place. Um, you'll want to leave again these three and then the bottom three bolts loose until you slide it onto the rail. Once you slide it onto the rail, you can put the end cap back on, just lay it flat, put the cap on and tighten it up. Um, also, once you get this together, you will need to make adjustments here because the arm, the positioning and everything changed from stock so you will have to adjust this in and out. The easiest way to do that and well, the only way to do that is underneath here you'll see these two bolts. These two bolts in here are what uh, you'll loosen up which will allow this bar to shift side to side and then you'll just line it up to where the wheels are in line with each other and when you move them together which you'll have to take the clamp off to do um, you want to make sure the faces of them touch evenly if there's any changes that need to be made if, if one's you know touching and the other one's not you can actually pivot this tower a little bit um, just by grabbing the arm and kind of twisting twisting it to the left or the right to get it lined up and then once it's lined up your uh, bolt for the clamp it should line up with that hole as one indication the other indication is that when you put the wheels together they're perfectly lined up side to side top to bottom everything's good to go um, the locking collars you need to make sure that the wheels are all the way in and the locking collars are all the way in because that's what holds the bearings in place um, if you don't have those properly, these could slide back and forth um, inside. So also with the kit, I sent you out uh, this little kit here. This is a clamp spacer because it comes with just a washer. Um, it also has the spacer there to uh, space it away if you need to. Also you got two lock collars. Um, what that is, is you can take this off, put a lock collar on this side, on both wheels, and a lock collar on this side, and you can essentially slide these out and reposition these wheels if you need to for um, whatever it is you might be doing. You can just reposition the wheels and uh, kind of, I don't know, just, just a mod that you can do to, to uh, do different things if you need to. Uh, Chris Ocasio actually used them and did did some stuff with them and so just kind of just roll with it So anyways, uh, I hope this was helpful 
is kind of quick and to the point. Uh, if, if you have any questions, just let me know and I'll be happy to answer them. But other than that, that's kind of the down and dirty of, of how to set this up and uh, get it going after you get the arm put in. And again, the customers are not going get, to get it the way you got it. Um, there was a last minute change after you guys had already been sent your machines so uh, customers are going to get exactly what you see here and what you will have once you uh, put the new tower and arm on so again if you have any questions just let me know make sure you tighten everything back down once you get it lined up tighten everything back down once you get the arm on tighten the bolts down all that stuff um, and if adjustments need to be made you can make them with the eccentric nuts on there or on there um, to tighten everything up or loosen it but we try to keep it loose there's no there's no load on it or anything so we're not worried about it moving too much but anyways uh, that's all I got for this again if you have any questions please let me know thanks